Hey everybody, welcome back to Wall World. We have a torpedo drilling explosion upgrade. We found an extra key. We are moving faster. We have more time between waves. We can jump up walls now. Uh, we are absolutely, look at us, holy, we are absolutely flying. That is crazy fast. Okay, look at that. Launches a little thing at the end. Oh my God, we are going to be clearing mines like there is no tomorrow. Uh, we do have a mine uh, depth thing as well. I don't know if it's like that important to try and spam it every time, but uh, that's the button number four on the right there. Uh, progression wise, we're doing very, very well. Uh, we learned a, a couple of things over the past few episodes that have really improved our, our game, I think. And uh, I'm ignoring one of them right now because I'm so preoccupied on talking about all the cool things that we have. Uh, I need to get in a better habit of this. Uh, grabbing our first six and then immediately doing the upgrade. So yes, I've lost a couple seconds here. I've lost, I've lost some time, but it will be, it will be okay. It, it will be okay, I promise. I promise, I promise. Okay, so I need four silver now is our next big thing that we're looking for. And there's one, I'll take that. This might give it to us. Still need one more. Let's see if I can find it. That little tether that you're seeing there, uh, that's giving us a speed and drilling boost when we are close to um, the Robo Spider. That's pretty neat. Okay, let's take this and we'll just get out of here. Not too much we gotta worry about in these early waves, but if we can save a couple repairs, then we'll save a couple repairs. Oh, nice, you went to the correct side. That was beautiful. Okay, let's take the drilling here. Now, um, overarching strategy right now. Oh my god. Okay, so this is, okay, very interesting. Uh, overarching strategy is gonna be deciding when to leave this area and going for emeralds. And the reason I said very interesting is because on all of our previous mines that we scanned in the last run, we never saw a large mine. Um, and I posited a question of, well, Maybe the large mines are the ones with the uh, big weapon upgrade caverns that we find. But that was not the case because we found those on mediums too. So this will be our first kind of clear indicator of what a large mine feels like when we use that scanner. That's good. We'll grab that on the way out. I would assume I could be wrong. But I would make the assumption that the large mines always have a big cavern at the end. And the mediums, like, maybe have a cavern. It's possible. But as you're seeing here, that could also just be wrong. Okay, so I'm pretty deep here. Let's get out of here. Um, I'm like very, very, very far away from the entrance. How much damage could we possibly take? Let's see. <laughs> We're about to find out. Because we don't have a drone or anything to protect us, so, you know. We're going to take probably less than a repair's worth of damage. But that is pretty late. Give me the drone. Okay, the bomb. We haven't seen this for a long time. That's fine. I'll totally remember to use that every time, obviously. <laughs> okay. Come with me. How do you guys feel about this bomb one? It's interesting. I do want to try experimenting with this in some of those... Um, very small rooms where you see sometimes like the dead NPCs and the extra gems and stuff. And just see if that does anything because there's been some like pickaxes in the wall. There's like some holes that you can see sometimes. And I'm just wondering if that actually 
is worth it. And the other thing is like, look at this. Like we, we're not drilling anything on the way to where we want to be. So I don't know if this is an efficient usage of this either. Well, I can tell you it's not efficient. Come on now. Huh, okay. So, doesn't seem like there is a cavern here. It's too bad. We'll try and draw some of these towards the entrance for us. We're gonna have to do another dive for sure. Yeah, I'm, it's like really deep. Kind of an unfortunate start. I am definitely taking some damage here that I may end up regretting. And this could be a situation where it's like, again, comes down to uh, a little bit of extra discipline. On saying like, yeah, this is a large mine. It, this will give us a ton of blues to start, which is nice. And I could have taken a speed upgrade as well. In fact, let me just take these right now and do that. As you can tell, certain things are not habits for me yet. <laughs> this is the life I live, okay? This is, this is my life. So I can't get this one because I need greens. Um, I can do the conscious mining. So we'll do that. We'll do speed and speed. And then this will probably be our next upgrade to get the extra depth. I would like to say this is my last run in here, but my last run in this specific mine. But it depends if I find anything up here. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Let's take all of these. Come on now. So now what we're looking for is our kind of next upgrade tree and I'm going to I'm going to try and have some discipline about like which biomes I'm drilling into right now. So I don't want to skip an upgrade, but sometimes we just got to deal with some luck of the draw situations. Should take care of a chunk of those. I think by this point, in the last couple of runs, we had automated weapons, specifically the drone, to really help us. Um, not having that early as a crutch does feel bad. It does feel a bit bad. Okay, yeah, I think this is it. Let's get out of here. Okay. Let's just assess where I'm at here. We could go into some weapon upgrades because of the fact that I don't have any drone things. Uh, bigger blast area on the bomb. Not something we've actually experimented with in the past. I don't think. Let's go ahead and take that. And then we'll take our first round of, of gun upgrades here. Actually, let's take the plasma stability for the extra drill range. We can still grab this. And let's go south. Man, we this just, you just fly. That is awesome. So now with this setup... <laughs> he doesn't launch the torpedo at him. That's funny. Was there a great flood? And isn't that proof that the wall is not infinite? 
Well, let me put it this way. Who told you the wall was flooded by the very foundation? Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, now I just want to see if this does anything. There's no, like, cracked walls here, but I'm curious. That would be sick if it did something. We'll try it if we see anything else, but... Almost makes the jumping totally unnecessary now. Let's do a depth scan here. Medium. Fire the torpedo. That's actually insane. That is actually... Think of, if you go back, I would encourage you after this video, go back and just watch the very first episode and see how long it took to get mining stuff done. It was insane. Now, I didn't get the biome that I wanted here, unfortunately, so that's a little bit of a problem. I'm actually going to undock here because we do move so quick. The downside is we still ultimately are losing time because the 20 minute timer doesn't stop. But it just prevents me from taking some extra damage there, which I think for our current situation makes sense. Oh, the bomb fell. That's annoying. We need something big in here for sure. find a corridor and get to it. Here we go. Here we go, baby. What are we getting today? Shotgun. All right. It's my least favorite, uh, but there were some good utility uses of it last run against some of the flyers when they eventually get close. pull some of these up here. I don't know if it's that worth it. Because this is going to clog me anyway. Okay. Come on, give me a drone. <laughs> I'm just so like, who doesn't want the drone now? Sick. Alright, let's go. dive in here. And then we need uh we need an emerald biome for sure. Is there anything I could upgrade right now that would help me? I need four of these, so not really. Uh, but actually, our drone system basics could go up here. So we'll take those.
Why do all these games do this where they lull you into like this false sense of security and freedom with all the great music? Only to hammer you with big gargantuan creatures? Hmm? Why is that? God, that's so fast. Small. Ah, yes, but... This is good. This is good. I wonder if there's um, docking and undocking speed upgrades. Like, just get in and out of the spider quicker? No, not again. Okay. It looks like... Okay, that's nice. I didn't know you could do that. Actually. I was just gonna say, we're in the emerald biome and there's zero emeralds. Okay, I'm gonna take this back and we're gonna upgrade. Let's go... here. Okay. Next big upgrade would be our dashing speed at 6, uh, or the efficient repair here. We'll take, uh, actually, what do we need for the drone? We need two emeralds for this, two multicolors here, and two what I'm calling titaniums for the other thing. So maybe I'll take extra damage there. Now, part of the other strategy stuff we need to consider is, like, when are we strong enough to take on those big waves by going through the clouds? And when when do we want to do those timing-wise? Uh, because a lot of the times we're facing, like, a double wave if we're doing that. So, we got a decent amount out of that. Not the most we've ever seen. Okay, so there's clouds here. I'll tell you what. Let's go up. I was just curious to see what that looked like. Because we move so quick, we'll blast off these rockets. And I'm just going to see if we can find another spot that doesn't hit clouds. And if we can, we'll enter it. And I'm only doing this because our movement speed is so high now. And, in fact... We have one. We have the shotgun. It doesn't really help me here, but... Oh, okay. I wonder if you can just kind of outrun them. Is that a thing? Oh, unfortunate. Haha, <laughs> that's actually very cool that you can do that. Uh... Little micromanagey. But let's throw it in here. Nice. I didn't check the size of this mine, but it seems like it's a uh, medium, a schmedium.
Tether me? Nice. Maybe this is even considered a small. Turret, beautiful. Okay, so we're pretty much set for that. Um, yeah, medium, okay. I don't know that I need to build a turret here, but the fact that we have them is obviously nice. Our gun rotation speed is horrendous at the moment. Which you would expect because we haven't upgraded it. Yeah, I'm going. So I'm gonna have enough for a couple of repairs, which hopefully I don't even really need. If I put up a turret here to defend, should be all right. Sometimes catching these things is a real pain. Complain much? Yeah. Sometimes. Okay. What should I do here? I feel like I don't want to repair until I have this. So if I do this and I can only do one repair, I should probably save this just for like an emergency. I'll take uh, this and this so I'm rotating faster and there's less bullet spread. I could take this to reduce the spread of the drone. It's only two and I still have two repairs. So I think we'll do that. But like now I'm on the move, right? So the question is like, do I just take a zero wave or do I... I'm gonna find out, actually. We're gonna see if this, if these waves stack. This might be really, oh, interesting. Might be really hard. But I can actually build here. And now I can like easily dodge these attacks just by moving. drone. Beautiful. That was actually insanely good. Okay, so what is the next big thing that I need here? I need these. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. 30% damage from every shot on the drone. That's big. This looks like a small mine. We could probably do this before the... Probably get to the next mine actually before the attack. And we might get like a special wave here too. We'll see because now I'm like in the thick of the clouds. There it is. But that's fine. We're okay. I have my trusty drone. What could go wrong? 
having that spread like when they're this close is kind of cool. Okay, we got explodies. I see the next mine entrance there. Double. Oh. Triples here. Very nice. A lot of close mines. Oh. Let's watch these. Hey, I'm in. And it's emerald, which is huge. Our, our upgrade path is going pretty good right now, I will say. Uh, we're going to need to get into, like, the titaniums and stuff next. with greens so I'll probably take the efficiency repair upgrade but we're gonna need plasma cutting soon so I might need to do some hunting and stay tethered there as much as I can just for those boosts. Okay, 16 minutes left. We have a wave coming. I'm gonna lock in here. See what happens. It's a tiny one. <laughs> I'm 12, by the way. I'm gonna do this. Check this out. Was there a great flood? And isn't that proof that the wall is not infinite? We've seen that before. Let's do the efficiency. My next efficiency one is at this, which is very far away. Um, that said, what am I going to do here? I, I will actually just repair us up to almost max. And then I can do the drone upgrade here. And do we need silvers anymore, like, at all? I mean, for the bomb, I guess. I guess we'll do this. And, and then I guess here, too, we could use it. We're not getting a ton of value out of the turrets yet. So maybe I will take the bomb. <laughs> Okay. Well. That's cool. This is not the, the one we actually need, unfortunately. Oh, 
I'll see if this leads us anywhere, and if it does, great. Seems like it's going to. We'll have some weapon options. I imagine we, we'll get the bomb launcher or the stake thrower here. I think those are the only two options to us. Bomb thrower. Okay, we haven't had it for a while, so that's cool. This is nice. Really cool. I'll do one dig in here, and then I'm going to move during combat. So I'll try to maximize this, but... This is going to get a little sweaty, I think. Okay, he's gone. A lot of explodey boys here. Take this. Hello. I've lived here for a short, for a long time. Had all sorts of visitors, mostly your scouts wandering in, but the others looked in on me as well. Only looked, mind you. They didn't come inside. Mighty pale. I'm gonna try. See what happens. <laughs> Poor guy. I wonder if there's ever any value in going all the way back down once you find something. This is actually good. Okay, and it's medium size as well. Medium size emerald. Very good for us right now. Um, it doesn't get us like the titanium balls that we need, but we can still do a ton with this. Repairs wise. And it's medium, so there could be a cavern as well. Looking excellent, though. Hello. What's that going to give us, I wonder? Because we have the ability to build... Uh, Turrets already. And we have the drone, of course. Resource harvester. Automatic mining stations at the... Oh, at the entrance of unoccupied mines. These stations produce a small amount of resources once a minute. Damn. Now, I wonder, does that mean resource harvester? Like, if I put it here, does that mean I'm going to get emeralds out of it? And then if I try to build here, yeah, I can. Okay, so it's one thing, which makes a lot of sense, obviously. That's cool. Like we're getting new stuff. gonna hurt me? No. Okay, nice. I don't... I'm not gonna have a good way of being able to monitor when that thing's giving me resources, I don't think. And 
And I, I think of I think of Dome Keeper, right? When you get the, the tree that you need to plant. Um, you need to leave resources for that. Does Do we need to leave things in here for that to draw from? I have no idea. God, this, this is absolutely massive for us. the gooey goodness. This is great. Let's just try and draw these off of here before I... Okay. We do another dive in here for sure. Grab everything. Upgrades I'm sitting on? I think probably. So let's take a second here. Um, so we need next level next level minerals for the drone system. Shotgun has no upgrades. Bomb thrower haven't used it yet. Oh, resource harvester. Okay. Minus 20% cost of every resource harvester. Resource harvester max limit increase. But these again need the specials. We could do this, but I don't need that yet. And then there's this whole like octopus thing. Okay. I'm intrigued, to say the least. I think I should take this for speed. And then, do I just go all in and take damage on my machine gun? I will actually dock here, so that we can just get a head start on mining this. Okay. Maybe when I docked there too, uh, I could have put a resource thing down. Obviously, the earlier we get that, the better, but our first time ever seeing it, so we're, we're just happy to have it. Yeah, this is much bigger than I anticipated. That's what she said. This is by far the most uh, emeralds we've ever had. This could be the run where we defeat the second wave. upgrade I can even think of that we would need is, uh, like the speed boost. I'm just gonna drop these in the little cavern there. That's fine. Six minutes. Might actually benefit from using the bombs here. That was quick. 
So the question is, do I build a resource harvester? I actually just saw the little reverse resource harvester pop up there. I think so. Holy frick, man. Now, it is nice to get these blues, but the silvers I don't even need. Blues are always nice, so I think here we try and fill up on as many blues as we can. Wow. That's got to be the, the, the dash, right? We're up to 13,000. I'm going to just keep farming it. Double check the size, but I'm thinking it's small. There's the overdrive. Okay. Medium. What do I know? I, I'm very keen to see what the upgrade to that blueprint is because it just feels like the d definitions are so broad. Okay. Still don't have any of the titanium. I will take the fire rate on the machine gun. And I will take the big um, compensator 2 here. Okay. And then I could get into the plasma cutter splitter soon. The drone I could go into full metal casing 1, which I think is good for us. And that's going to be the max there until we find new stuff. And then the resource harvester. I don't think I'm going to do anything with that this round. So, um, should I invest in the turret replicator now just to lock it in? Yeah, I will. Just so I don't have to think about it. I could probably go bombs here, but, like, this is also fine. I think getting the, um, the firing arc for the bomb would be pretty valuable. I'm just trying to lock in there. That resource harvester seems to be bringing in a decent amount. Four minutes left. Okay. So we know we need to find a new place, a new mine for sure, because we want to be able to build a turret. But am I going to have a super wave here? So I can't afford to go down now, right? It's just way too far, I think. gonna fire in front of me for now so I can make sure I get where I'm going. And then if I can lock this mine in, actually what I'm gonna do is we're gonna mine hunt here a sec. That ain't it. Gotta fight for a bit here. I feel like targeting these little pustules is very challenging. What the hell? I gotta watch my repairs here. Oh, 
Holy frick, that was close. Okay, I might need to go bombs here. Or maybe just this. Yeah, maybe these bombs are just the way to go at this point. Things are so clustered. Wow. Okay, so I need to, like, I need to make judgment calls here on all these next mines for the next 90 seconds. I will check this. All personnel on duty, please report to the reimplantation zone. What? Reimplantation zone? That's interesting. Let's just see. I have to, if I'm going to have a chance here, I have to hunt for emeralds. I have a minute. That ain't it. Man. This is the worst, is when we get blocked by not being able to find the right resource. Um... Unlocks the Robo Spider repair talent using hypercells. Using ceramic crystals. Okay. 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 Hold on a second here. So, okay. So the purples I can also repair with. That's good to know. I what I didn't think about that before. Same with these little doodads. So I'm here. I will hunt for purples. And this actually heals us at 30% as well. So, let's see if I can find more of those. Okay, let's make sure I get back in time here. Because I'm going to need to build some stuff. I clicked. Okay, good. Now, let me look at some upgrades. I'm feeling the bombs, actually. Pretty solid here. Um, rotation speed. Bigger blast area. Let's go ballistic calculator. Blast area. Chain drive. Blast damage. Scatters submunitions upon explosion. Yeah. I need two more blues if I want to look for that, but. The downside to this, of course, is that I can't hit the big bad guy at all. But it does clear these guys pretty quickly. Okay, 
let's switch this up now. That sucks. Said to eat that. Okay, I think we might hold here. Ish. Go right into it, why not? See, and I'm I'm glitched again, where I can't click these upgrades. If I hold on a sec, if I switch to a controller for a second here. Ah, oh, yeah, interesting. Controller lets me do it. So that's got to be an input thing. That's unfortunate because it's very annoying. What other upgrades could I possibly take here while I'm in the tree? Yeah, okay. I still have to use this. Extra pellets. Damage. Fire rate. Okay, I'm gonna unplug that. Oh, I'm in big trouble here, man. Okay, so, that was pretty tough. Um, I might be doing some incorrect targeting and stuff there, maybe with some of the different weapons. Um, I'm not sure what I could have done differently to break through all of that at the end there. That was pretty challenging. I didn't even destroy one of the pustules. But uh, we did learn about some repair stuff, so I don't have to get focused in on those minerals or on those emeralds as much. Once we find those other kind of next tier of upgrades, we can unlock repairs with those, which is kind of nice. Uh, so that was that was a good learning there. And we came back with a ton of stuff. 14,000 stuff, to be exact. No other uh, blueprints, unfortunately. So what do I want to take here? Maybe I take the resource vacuum. I'm probably lacking here too, right? Like, this is another thing that I could probably build up quite a bit. This one as well. But I'm going to go resource vacuum. And we're gonna we're gonna be happy with that. We're gonna be very happy with that. Things are starting to go much better, and I'm having a super time. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.